Hey everyone, it is Silly Man here. Today I will be showing you how to create an elevator obstacle. This is an obstacle commonly used in obbies, used to push a player upward. So let's get started. I'm going to start by inserting a part, but I'm actually not going to do this by clicking this. I'm actually going to be using the command bar, and I will explain why in a second. So I'm going to type instance.new part, and then workspace, and then hit enter. This will insert a part into the workspace. And then I'm just going to resize it. All right, so that should be on the ground. Just going to make it a little bit wider. OK, that's good. And then I'm going to set the transparency to 0.5. I'll just change the color to green. I'll turn off collisions and then anchor it. And so most of these obstacles and obbies typically have a studded style. So to do that, we're going to scroll down and there should be this surface section. Now, the reason why I use the command bar to insert the part is because otherwise the surface option will actually not show up. So if I just inserted a part by clicking on this, and then scroll down, you're going to see that there's no surface section. So make sure to insert a part using this command if you want to use the studded style. So click on the surface and then change all of these to studs. And there we go. Now we have the studded style. So I'm just going to call this part elevator and then group it inside of a folder. I'll call this folder elevators and the reason we're doing this is so that when we write code it will work for more than one elevator so it will work for both so now let's get on to the scripting so i'm going to insert a local script into starter player scripts so we're going to be needing the player service and then we'll get the player object and then let's make a variable for the elevators folder the local elevators equals workspace dot elevators and then next, I'm going to loop through everything inside of the folder and make an event for it for when the object is touched. So to do that, I'm going to type for i, v in pairs, we'll create a for loop. And then we're going to do elevators, get children. This will get all of the objects inside of the folder and, and then create the event. So v dot touched connect function hit. And then next, we need to make sure what hit the object was our player. So to do that, we do if hit.parent equals player.character. This will make sure that it was our player that touched the elevator. We're then going to get our player's humanoid root part. And then let's make sure that the root part exists. This is just an invisible part inside of the player's character, but it's often used in scripts. So if the root part exists, we're then going to create a force that will push the player upward. So to do that, we're going to use something called a body velocity. So local, I'm going to call this elevator velocity equals instance dot new. Then we're going to create a body velocity object and then set the velocity property. I'm going to set this to 0, 15, 0. And then set the max force property. I'm going to set that to 0. 1 million, 0. And that will just make sure that it will force us upward and uh, it won't interfere with any other thing. So that's why we set it to 1 million for the max force. And then we're going to parent this to the root part. And then next what we need to do is wait until the player is no longer touching the elevator. And once they no longer are touching it, we need to destroy this force here. So what I'm actually going to do is create a function so local function, and I'm going to call this is player touching object. And then it's going to take in one parameter. And then I'm going to do for i v in pairs part get touching parts. This will get everything that the elevator is touching. And then if v dot parent equals player dot character. And this code makes sure that what's touching the elevator is the player. We're going to return true to indicate that the player is in fact touching the elevator. So then what I'm going to do is come here and then do while 
is player touching object v because v is the elevator it's in the for loop do task dot wait and this will wait until the player is no longer touching the elevator when the player no longer is touching it we're going to destroy this elevator velocity so elevator velocity destroy and that should be it so let's just call the script elevator script then hit play all right looks like something isn't working i think i was having an issue with this in one of the previous videos so click on workspace and then turn off streaming enabled because this can sometimes cause issues with um, objects loading i'm also just going to move this a uh, little bit in the front that way i don't spawn on top of it and then hit play all right so if i touch the elevator you can see that it pushes me up and if i test this one it should also push me up you can see that it pushes me up so it is working and if you want to make this elevator move you up faster you can just change the value here where it says 15. so we can just change it to let's just say 30 and this will push me up faster there we go and that is all for today's video so if you found this video helpful please leave a like and i will see you all in the next video